Welcome to the second part of proportional packets. So in this lesson we're going to try and uh, use what we learned in the last lesson to answer some more difficult questions. I'm going to start with this one. 81 people coming into a restaurant and they need to be shared around three tables. Now that question is hard for me to answer because um, 81 is way off my three times tables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about another question I know where 81 is on my tables. And I know that 81 is on my nine times tables. In fact, I know that if 81 people came into a restaurant where there were nine tables, I'd have to fit nine people around each table. Now I'm going to use this question to help me answer this one. So what I like to do is point all my arrows pointing up, because it's this bottom one which is going to help me work out this top one. Alright, well let's have a think about this bottom one here. Here we had nine tables, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and up here we had three tables. So see if we can spot any pattern between the nine and the three. That's right, there are three times less tables. Now before we do this bit, I always like to, to try and think whether, use our common sense and see if we can work out whether this number is going to be bigger or smaller. So if we have less tables, are we going to have to fit more people around each table? And the answer to that is yes. So if we get a number here which is less than that, we know we've made some type of mistake. Alright, well if I have three times less tables, then I'm going to have to fit three times more people around each table. 9 times 3 is 27. So 81 people shared between three tables means I would need to fit uh, 27 people around each table. All right, let's try another one. Um, at this restaurant there's 56 people and there are only four tables. Again, it's a tricky question because 56 is uh, off my 4 times table. I'm only good up to, to 4 times 10 is 40. So I need to think of another uh, set of tables which will help me out. And I know that 56 is also on my 8 times tables. In fact, I know that would be 7. But if I had 56 people shared around 8 tables, then I'd need to fit 7 people around each table. Here are my eight tables, and here are my four tables. And just like last time, I'm going to do all my arrows pointing up to the question, which I don't know. And now I'm going to think about, how did I change my eight tables into four tables? And the answer is, I had half as many, so I must have divided by two. Okay, now how, um, now I need to work out how many people fit around each one. So again, I, I use my common sense, I think, right, if I have got half as many tables, am I going to have to fit more people around each table? And the answer is yes, so I think that this number here is going to have to be bigger than this one. If it's not, I'll have made a mistake, and I need to go back and check where I went wrong. Okay, if I have half as many tables, I must need to fit twice as many people around each table, which means 7 times 2 is 14. So 56 shared between 4 equals 14. Let's just take another look at the question we just answered, which was 56 divided by 4 equals something. And we had to try and find a, a question which would help us answer that. Now, some of you may have noticed that 56 is also on my 7 times tables. And I know that if I had 7 tables, that would mean I had to fit 8 people around each one. Now, can you see why this question here wouldn't have been a very good choice compared to uh, the question up here where I chose this to help me? Let's have a look. First step. I'm drawing in my arrows again, and now I'm thinking, how did I change 7 into 4? And you can see that's very hard for me to do. It's nowhere near as easy as me to do this one. That's why this question was a much, much better choice. 
Let's just do one more question quickly. All right, here I've got 64 people coming into a restaurant and I need to share them around four tables. I don't know how many people uh, will fit around each one. So I need to think of a question which will help me and I am choosing 64 divided by eight because I know the answer to that is eight. Just like always, draw my arrows pointing up to the question that I'm trying to work out and I think, how did I change eight into four? I divided it by two and remember before I do the next but I have to think uh, whether it's going to make sense or not. If I have less tables, am I expecting to fit more people around each table? And the answer is yes, so I need to uh, check at the end if this number isn't bigger than that, I'll have probably made a mistake and I'll need to fix up where I went wrong. Went wrong. Right, but I have half as many uh, tables, I must fit twice as many people around each one, so 8 times 2 equals 16. So 64 people shared between four tables means I'd need to fit 16 people around each table. Hopefully this has been helpful. Um, if you want some more help with uh, these types of lessons, um, check out teachertools.co.nz for some more videos, PowerPoints and uh, lessons and books.